the rising cost of living is currently the most pressing concern for 9 in 10 Europeans. High inflation has hit our entire economy, but it particularly hurt the most exposed, vulnerable and unprivileged households. So what is happening to the economy? Let's have a look. While economic growth slowed drastically towards the end of 2022, inflation rates have slowed down as well, but at unprecedentedly high levels. This is still substantially above the 2% inflation target set by the European Central Bank. Inflation has been mostly driven by extraordinary external factors, such as the COVID pandemic, supply bottlenecks and most significantly surging energy prices. However, energy inflation has slowed down after October 2022, but it would be premature to declare victory in the fight against inflation. Higher energy costs typically have a gradual and indirect impact on the prices of other goods and services like non-energy industrial goods. This is why we see that core inflation has been continuously increasing over the last one and a half years and it is still increasing. Core inflation includes all goods and services except for energy and food which are usually the most volatile price components. To bring inflation down to the target, that is 2%, the European Central Bank started the process of policy normalization, shifting from an aim to rise the inflation path to a monetary policy stance that cements the inflation path at the target. In this process of so-called monetary policy tightening, meaning increasing interest rates, the European Central Bank will now also start to reduce its holdings of assets it has bought in the past. It is important to understand what the European Central Bank intends and expects to achieve with this policy. First, monetary policy operates on the demand side, meaning that increasing interest rates lead to tighter financing conditions and, over time, to lower demand for goods and services in the economy. Recent estimates show that the interest rate hikes could lower inflation by 1.2 percentage points in 2023 and 1.8 percentage points in 2024. The negative impact on real GDP growth is estimated to be around 1.5 percentage points on average over three years. Second, monetary policy works with a time lag. Monetary tightening in the Eurozone is expected to have its highest impact with a lag of two years. This is important to consider as further interest rate hikes in the coming months are likely. So far, workers have borne the brunt of soaring prices. Their incomes have been lower in real terms given the high inflation rates. To catch up, wage increases are expected to accelerate. Inflation outlook is heavily influenced by the economic and geopolitical uncertainties. Thus, the ECB is walking a tightrope to calibrate monetary policy. On one hand, it has to ensure that inflation gets back to the 2% target. On the other hand, and given the lags with which monetary policy operates, flexibility is also key to avoid over-tightening and to ensure that the costs to the economy and to the people are minimal. <music> 